It's been four years since the release of Kingdom Hearts 3 and three years since the release of the DLC Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. And after perhaps some initial critiques and many mods, did the story of Kingdom Hearts 3 in fact live up to its long-awaited hype? Welcome back everyone, this is your girl Empowered Muse, and today we're going to talk about the overall impact of Kingdom Hearts 3 since its initial release in 2019 and the release of its DLC Remind in 2020. Now, I'll start off by saying that it did appear that the initial impressions of Kingdom Hearts 3 were rather underwhelmed for multiple reasons, including the lack of a critical mode, which was added in it in a later update, as well as what felt like some inconsistent pacing with the lore, and perhaps too much emphasis on Keyblade and battle mechanics, like the Attraction Command feature, rather than placing that emphasis on the story's development. But it seems like much of the complaints that were raised with Kingdom Hearts 3's initial release were answered with the release of its DLC Remind, nearly one year later to date. Not only did Remind fill in some of the lore gaps, such as how exactly did Sora save Kairi before disappearing, and even how were Terra and Roxas able to make their returns in the Keyblade Graveyard, but it also gave us a premium menu that had customizable easy and pro codes, as well as data battles towards the end of the story, that held the key to unlock the next parts of the story, and even a secret battle with Yazora. So with the Remind DLC, which was a downloadable DLC, Kingdom Hearts 3 became a fairly fleshed out game in both its mechanics and interface, as well as continuing the Kingdom Hearts storyline. And as far as the lore gap concerns that were raised previously, it probably is true that not everyone was expecting some of Union Cross's lore to be integrated into Kingdom Hearts 3, but I don't think the parts that were integrated into the game took away from the overall story, especially since the other games were re-released for the PS4 at the time in a story so far packaged in preparation for Kingdom Hearts 3's release. But I do think that overall Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind fulfilled its mission of being the resolution piece to the Dark Seeker saga, as we saw just how Xehanort's path to summoning Kingdom Hearts with the Keyblade War affected the lives of multiple people throughout time. And the way Kingdom Hearts 3 left a very open ending to both Sora's disappearance and the Foreteller's return indicated that the story of Kingdom Hearts is definitely not over as we begin to prepare for the beginnings of the Lost Master arc. Not to mention that Kingdom Hearts 3's timing in its release also brought the opportunity to take Kingdom Hearts to a new level in exploring parts of the world and its mechanics through modding, especially after not only Kingdom Hearts 3 but all of the Kingdom Hearts console-based games were released on PC which provided fans the opportunity to explore and play the games in new ways with randomizers and the multiple drive forms and form changes Sora's acquired over the years. So there are quite a few ways for us to replay these games in a new light, with the mini mods available for the PC versions of the Kingdom Hearts games. But all that to say, while it did seem like Kingdom Hearts 3 may have had a lukewarm reception on its release four years ago, I think the DLC, as well as the increased modding for the PC version, has revitalized some of the excitement that was initially missing and the release of the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer and the start of the Lost Master arc probably brought some replayability back to Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind that might not have previously been there before. So let me know in the comments below, how do you feel about Kingdom Hearts 3 four years after its initial release? If you want to explore some more Kingdom Hearts theories, I'll be linking another Kingdom Hearts theory video here in the end screen. And as always, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video and want to watch more Kingdom Hearts content. And if there's anyone who may have questions about what to expect for the upcoming Kingdom Hearts games, be sure to share this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.